Yo, I'm 22 years old FileMaker developer and I want to teach you guys how to use FileMaker. I'm using FileMaker 18 Pro Advanced and what we're going to be building today is a basic school database. So you just launch FileMaker Pro here and this little uh, window will pop up. You can add favorites, you can add this will show you all your recent. So these are all the recent databases that I have opened. And then um, you click on the create button and you can see a blank, convert and learn. And then FileMaker gives you a lot of starting databases. Today, we're gonna to focus on creating our own from scratch. So we're gonna click on blank and then it's gonna ask us to rename this one. So I'm gonna do Skillshare Schools Database long name i'm going to save this on my desktop under skillshare filemaker school database and databases so this is where my file is going you can save it wherever as soon as you create a new database filemaker will create a table for you labeled the exact same name of the database that you just named and then it will automatically populate some fields for you so what I like to do is I don't really like this first table, so I usually delete it. And then it's asking me if I want to also remove occurrences of these tables in the graph, the graph being the relationships. So every time you make a table, a new table will appear in the graphs layout, which is your relationships. So that's what it's asking you right in the beginning. So yes, I want to delete this. And yes, I also want to remove that occurrence of the table in the relationships graphs. So I'm going to say delete and we can start creating our own tables here. Tables being like an Excel spreadsheet. You have a table view, you have rows and columns. Um, every column is basically a set of fields like first name, last name, and every row would usually be the data underneath all of that data. So in the tables here, if we're going to be keeping track of schools, so what I would like to do is create a uh, probably a schools table, a students table, and then probably classes table so that we can go to a specific school and then we can see what classes are being held at the school and then which students are in that school. And we could even take it a step further and see what students are in each class. So the tables I'm going to create here will be called schools, students, and classes. And then every time you create a new table, FileMaker has automatically already generated five fields within those tables. So we're going to jump into schools here. It, FileMaker now automatically generates a primary key, which is its unique identifier for each record. So this is automatically generating a, a calculated value based off of Git. UUID. So it's creating these IDs for all these records for you now. Um, in older versions of FileMaker, FileMaker didn't always used to do this. So if you do have an older version and you don't have these fields automatically generated for you, like FileMaker used to do, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So typically, if let's say we didn't have any of these fields, Let's say yours is an older version. I believe they started doing this in 2017. I don't remember 100%, but we're going to jump right in here. Let's say you had nothing. I would usually type ID and then um, I'm on Mac. So I'm going to do command N. Type in command N will change the type of this field. So all of our types, we have text, we have number, we have date, time, timestamp, container, calculation, and summary. Text being normal text, you can have text and numbers in there. It's just it won't calculate number values if you wanted to use it in like a calculation or like a summary field. We'll look more into that later. Numbers are strictly numbers. Um, and then you have dates, you have time, time stamp. Well, usually you can give it like, do you want uh, the, the hour, minute and seconds? Or do you want the date in a specific date format? Or do you want uh, dates and time. So timestamp is pretty cool. Container fields is like holding files. So you can have a photo, PDF, um, pretty much anything that you can think of, you can store in a container field. Calculations, we'll get more into that. You can basically set this field to calculate 
between other values in your table or other tables. And then summary usually is if you had a number field and you wanted to total up all the number of fields of all the records, then the summary field is a really good option to automatically generate all those numbers for you. So right now we're going to do a number. This is if your table has nothing in it. If you're not using FileMaker 18, you would automatically create an ID. And then within this ID, I like to give, you have to give it a serial number. So the best option for you to do is to generate a serial number. It's going to generate on creation. So every time you create a new record, a new ID is going to appear within that table created by FileMaker. So the next value is one and it's going to increase by one. So my next value is telling me that the next, I haven't created any records. So the next value must be one. We're going to click OK. So now our school has a unique ID, which is great. And then we can give this a school name. So since we're in the schools table, we can just type name or we can do school name. So a lot of this is your own personal preference. I'm going to do school name. So I don't really like how it just added my new is creation on top. I don't like that. I usually like creation order. So you can create, you can choose the creation order or the layout type over here. And then let's see, it's not doing it that way. Custom order. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we have ID, school name, and then we probably will do a street address. That's going to be text. You know, we have probably address two. If the school had that, probably city, state, country, and then probably zip code. I'm going to go over here on my second screen real quick. And then, uh, just play out real quick just to see. And the cool thing is when you're first starting out, if you don't know how to set up something in a database, if you don't remember the, the correct order, because what if you wanted to display all these fields together? And that's where a calculation field will come in. So basically, I'm going to drag this over here. I'm just going to bring over address layout. So typically in a database, you have the address and you have city. And this is usually the address too. If it's like a unit number, apartment, complex or whatever. And then you have like zip code and country. And then this one is showing a result. So this is taking all of that data and it's putting it together. So this one is showing it in a layout of street. Price, street, city, state, zip code. Okay. So let's say we wanted to set up in that order. So what I would do is I would do all my calculations, start with a lowercase c, underscore. And then since we're doing it in the full address, I'm going to label this C as for calculation, full address. And then FileMaker is really cool where you can actually give comments for your field name. So basically, this is going to be a calculation of joining all address fields together. Okay. And then you have to change the status, or I'm sorry, the type to calculation. So then we're going to do create. And as another box, window box will pop up saying like, okay, now we have to basically write the script or write the order that we want this field to display this address in this format. So going back to basically what is the traditional way of laying out um, an address field? So this is like basically sending a letter out. So this is showing a name and then the address. So it looks like it's street name, probably the second address and then city and then zip code. This is how this one's doing it, but you can do it in any order you want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one long street address. So it's combining everything together. So I'm going to do street address. And then FileMaker, after you type in, you select a field. So over here, we're in the current table schools. And these are all the fields within that table. So I've already selected street address field. And 
so that we're going to use the and sign to join it with something else. But we want to also add a space between the street address and the next line that we want. So in quotations, adding your own personal text in quotations. Instead of adding text here, I'm adding a space bar. So street address and space. And let's do street address. And let's say after the second address, so like usually the second address, like I said before, is like a suite number or unit number or PO box number. Uh, let's say I want to do a comma space. So it's going to be street, the street address, space, um, address two, and then it's going to do a comma, space. And then what I've already forgotten to do is that I need to join this address two with this comma space. In order to do that, I need to add an add sign. And then after this, I need to add another and sign. And let's do the city. And then we're going to do n, comma, space, and state. And then do n, space, and zip code. I'm going to leave the country out for this one. So that's a basic calculation script for joining fields together. And then at the very bottom here, this calculated result is not going to be a number, but it's going to be text. And we're going to click OK. So basically, we just created another field, and this field is not looking for our input, but it's calculating the inputs of the other fields. So that's the schools table for us right there. And then we're going to jump to students. Like I said before, FileMaker is automatically generating these. I'm going to make it simple for everyone that if you have these, your ID field can be used as your primary key. But for those that don't have this automatically generated, I'm going to delete these and I'm going to do it the old school way. We're going to create an ID for students and we're going to do a serial number on creation. Next value is one. And then the student's going to have a first name. I'm going to do command T to change the type to text. We're going to do last name and on uh, lowercase c for telling us that this is a calculated field. We're going to calculate C underscore first name. And then sometimes you can do full name. So what I like to do is I usually create both. So I do a full name or I'll do like first name, last name. So this is telling me that the first name is first and then the last name, or you can do a calculation of last name, first name. So this is telling you that this calculation has the last name first and then the first name. So you can do either or. So right now, for the skinny, I'm going to do first name, and then last name, and then command L for calculation type. We're going to create that. So we're going to do first name and then last name. And then even within this, you don't have to select it from this. You can start typing. So as I start typing, this little box next to this command here is telling me that this is a field. So I'm going to select first name and quotation space and last name and this is a text which is great and let's say just for uh, sake of argument here we're going to do another one but instead of first name first we're going to do last name and then first name command l for calculation for our type and then we're going to do last name oops we're going to do and Space, first name. So this is two different ways of doing two different types of fields. They'll both calculate no matter what, but depending on where we want to display these, it's always nice to get the small stuff done in the beginning so that you can use it throughout your database later on. So we have first name, last name, and then we have a calculated field of joining the first name and last name together, or a calculated field of doing the last name, then the first name, which is great. And then we're going to jump into our classes. Same thing as before, FileMaker generated these automatically. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to create my own. Label mine ID, command N to change the type to number. I'm going to create this. 
and then double click in this, create a serial number on creation next values one, which is great. And then classes will have a class name, command T for text, which is changing the type to text. And then we'll probably have maybe like a description. And that might be about it for classes right now. So that's great. We have students, we have schools, and we have classes in our database. This is a quick overview on how to create tables and fields within FileMaker. In the next video, we're going to jump into relationships and layouts.